Batchcock Funk in the house, in Chris's house. In fact, the house of Exo Taco. Let's talk about my man here. Oh, yeah. He's the boy. He's what's up. He is an icon in the food industry in central New York. He's opened a bunch of awesome restaurants, especially this one. He's an expert on tacos. So first, let me just let you know about one thing. I am also a pretty big taco fan. I have a mild. Who's not? Yeah, right. Who's I mean, not? I have an addiction a little bit, but I haven't found a way to solve it yet. So what makes Only a great taco, time. bro? Honestly, dude, aside from all of the ingredients, I think a good taco, like anything else, comes with, I think, the company that you keep at the table, right? The people Word. that you're around, Dope. the vibes, the, the decor, the whole shit, man. But a good taco just is, is, is probably starts with a good shell. You know what I mean? For us, we're you doing all our scratch, all yeah. our shells in house for sure, uh, right from scratch. So we're grabbing uh, fresh masa flour, mixing it up a little bit. These dudes are pressing it uh, for a, for a service. So uh, yeah, man, trying to keep it as authentic as we possibly can. All right. Speaking of ingredients, today we're gonna make duck confit tacos. Yeah, buddy. So the reason why we like this, man, is because it's fatty and salty, and the acidity of all the cool stuff you're gonna use is gonna cut it up a little bit. Oh yeah. So. We made our own duck confit here, and um, here's how we did it. So what you do is you basically dry marinate it with a bunch of different stuff. Yep. I use dried basil, different salt. Over time, you're basically braising the meat in its own fat. Yep. So after putting it in the dry marinade overnight, took it out, um, cooked it on the fat side down for about a half hour, get about a quarter inch of duck fat in yep. it, flipped it over, stuck it in the oven, covered it for two hours, and then... Um, Uncovered it to get it golden for an hour. Let it do its work. Yeah, man. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out and start chopping Chop up it the up, pieces, baby. Let's baby. go. Let's do it. Traditionally, uh, I, I think what sort of those ingredients and one of those ingredients that, that come with duck is gonna be like apple. Mm -hmm. uh, I picked the Granny Smith one because again, I think the fat content compared to I think the tartness totally. of this apple and that and acidity the color pops too, is gonna green. come off really, really well. Yep. Um, aside from that, and again, this is totally random. We're definitely gonna add some slaw in there for some more crunch factor. I did a quick pickle right here, if you can see, on some, uh, some, some, some red onions. This is just a little sugar, a little vinegar. A little water. Ooh. Again, I want to bring out that sort of acidity to combat that, but at the same point in time, I really want to sort of introduce a little bit of sweetness to kind of like balance everything. So Love I'm hitting it. like all those notes, right? Totally. Like, so uh, I got a little bit of mayo. We're going to make an aioli, obviously, from scratch. Uh, and then I got a little bit of um, these brandied cherries that I stole from the bar. Um, again, these are sort of like soaked in, in, in brandy. Um, you can't go wrong with alcohol and shit. Yeah, well, speaking of, dude. I mean, with the brandy in here, we should probably grab some alcohol. Let's do it. Fuck it, let's, let's go. Let's turn it up. We tried a little Grand Marnier. We'll see what happens. I think in my head it sounds good to add to this aioli with the cherries good and mouth. the mayo. Um, so let's start making some stuff. Let me first kind of chop up this apple really quickly. And we're going to kind of want to get slices like this and then uh, get some really, really thin sort of pieces. So, Like uh, strips? Like strips, only because I want it to be really the, the, the length of the taco. At the same point yeah. in time, I want it to kind of look like that slaw and kind of blend right in there. So aioli, how are you making So this? let's make this aioli. So first I'm gonna start with a little bit of mayo. So I'm just gonna grab this spoon right here, throw that, throw that kind of down in there. Um, I'll grab a little, Couple cherries. I don't want them whole. I'll actually mash this up, but I really want this juice, which is sort of like the brandy, um, as well as like obviously the sugar that it's gonna get mm. from not only that, but the cherries. And then I'm gonna throw in, yeah, stick your finger in there. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of this, uh, this Grand Marnier. So I'm just gonna kind of mash up these cherries so they get well incorporated Woo! to everything. Yeah. Um, and then I'm just gonna start kind of whisking this up seeing what we got. So what I got right here is uh, some fresh shells. Like I said, we make these in house, so I just got these off the flat top. Uh, about a minute and a half, not even per side. It's gonna get you to a nice sort of like golden brown um, texture and taste. So we're just gonna kind of layer these up like we do uh, at the shop here. 
and uh, we're gonna start building our ingredients from there. So first, I mean, let's throw let's some duck in there, the no duck. doubt. I mean, that's the, the, the star of the show yeah. for sure. Well, you know what? I don't know anymore if it's a star, but you know, that's when you see a good movie. You know when you see a good movie and the supporting actor is the one that really kills it? Yep. Like Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight? That's exactly. What, that's what we knew was gonna happen when we brought yep. you into the party here. Fuck yeah. Okay, so we got some duck in there. So we got some duck in there. I think next we're gonna go a little bit of slaw. Yep. So again, this is a pretty simple slaw. Uh, lime juice, a little bit of uh, Napa cabbage, a little bit of cilantro, just tossed, a little bit of salt. We'll go a little bit of this. Yeah. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Not a ton of it, just enough to let it know just it's enough, there, you know? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I got some pickled onions right here. Like I said, this is a yeah. quick pickle. Um, so this good. is going to be obviously some of that, like, that vinegar hitting you counterbalancing that fat that's on the duck already, but also sort of playing off that sweetness from the cherries and the aioli mm, for sure. Yeah. And then uh, just a little green topper, uh, cilantro, just because. Yep. Mm. Wow. That is how tacos are supposed to look. And then lastly, I'm just gonna throw a couple little apple slices in here. Um, that's gonna give it sort of that tartness that we talked about before. Mm and kind of throw them in there so you can kind of see that apple, which is kind of cool. Like I said, always a traditional like pairing for a duck, but we're kind of spinning it up a little bit, adding that little like yeah, yeah. Uh, Grand Marnier Spend cherry aioli on up. that bitch. Uh, so y'all, let's go. All right. I'm stoked for this, dude. I didn't anticipate putting some booze in here, but it looks good. But uh, from XO to you, hugs and kisses and shit. Yo, let's eat do up. it, let's baby. Go. That is a taco. These are good. Sweet. These are good. They're really good. Oh yeah.